Yes, good evening to everybody. Welcome to the, my class of the private international law, the students of the Moshi Cooperative University, second year, se second semester, the conflict of laws, which I am dealing now. Let me come continue the second part of it. The part which I highlighted is illustration. If A is wrongfully detained in another country and he could not have filed the case in the court because of the limitation period being over, in that situation, the case can be accepted by the court of his country because the act was not actionable to only on procedural grounds. And the law of limitation is a procedural ground. Hence, if the law of limitation procedural ground is not accepted over there, then the exemption will be given to the foreigner. Yes, it can be filed. That is only the thing which I revealed you. So the procedural law can be exempted to file a case because law of limitation is a procedural law. So hence the country is having the can, can register the case even though it is uh, against the law of limitation. So, car versus this is one of the case law that we will see how the what the case law I magnified. In car versus Francis Times and Company, so this is not the right way because when you say all cases should be in italics, the cases should be in italics and uh, company is the abbreviation. And there is a shortening form. So first letter is a capital letter, other letter is a zero, I'm always small letter, and ends with the full stop and continuation with the comma. And AC, quote of appeal, it will be in generally it will be in the volumes, and hence it's not a circular bracket, it should be a square bracket. You have to keep it. This is a square bracket. Nini Marmari. The square bracket we have to keep it here. And following the proclamation of the Sultan of Muscat, it is the case law of Sultan of Muscat, the defendant has seized the goods which are being carried on a British ship and thus in the suit filed by the plaintiff, it was held that the act could not make the defendant liable because if the country where it had been done, such an act was not actionable. See, the British ship, it is carrying the goods and where the Sultan of Muscat has given the order to seize the ship. And the person has seized the ship. But the seizing the ship at the time where the, the act was committed through the order of the Sultan and it is not actionable. And hence, the plaintiff will not get any, the case will not be filed. Because it is not actionable in that country. At that instance, no court will entertain such a case. Can you sit, you know, empty? Not you are empty. What do you say, branch? Branch, branch. Sema. Huh? Taudi. Okay. Can you sit this side and cut the branch half? Can you sit this side and cut, cut the branch here? In the same way, a thing which is not actionable in the country, can they entertain such a case? No. A thing which is not actionable in the country, they cannot accept such a case. Because it's against the country, law. Country, policy. Country, constitution. No, the same the case like here. Whatever the action it is taken over by him is an actionable, hence, no compensation. First, it is not accepted as a crime. One more important rule under such a suit is that when the cause of action is not of a local nature, then the suit is allowed by the court. If the cause of action is not local, it is international, and such a thing is not there in their constitution or not there in the statute, yes, they will take the statute of the other country and they will apply it. If the rules are silent in Tanzania, they can take the rules of India. They take the statute of India or any other country where the legal system is developed. You can take from the UK. You can take from the USA, you can take from the Australia, where the development of the 
legal system is more, including India. You can borrow it and you can use that statute and decide the case. When, when the statute is a silent in Tanzania, I told you in the earlier classes also, if no statute is available over there for the dispute, then we will use the common law system. Common law. And I told once again, even the common law is buried, even though common law is buried, nini nani, he is uncomfortable. If you are not comfortable, you can go out. Because I am recording, otherwise Kamata, I used to come inside. Otherwise you cannot see the screen. If I take this in my hand and my smartphone in my pocket, I can walk Kama Hivi and deliver the lecture instead of sitting in Hapa. So I am sharing it, that's why I would like to. You could, you could see it because I cannot carry that thing in my shoulder, on my shoulder. Okay, coming to the point. We are making, and hence we said that local nature, if the act is silent, means statute is silent, we can borrow the advanced legal system of other country also. That is the point. So now let us see one of the another case. Mostian versus Fabrings case law. The defendant was the governor of Minorca and he had locked the plaintiff for a few days without any lawful justification. Without lawful justification, the governor of Min Minorca locked the plaintiff. It was held in this case that act of the defendant was not a local nature and therefore suit for the plaintiff was allowed and the defendant was held liable. Without legal justification, if you imprison a person, the local law is silent, then you can take the international instruments or other country law. No one can be imprisoned. No one, no, nobody, liberty is curtailed without the due process of law. At the time, definitely it is an offense. Definitely it is an offense. On suspicion ground, if you made it, but there should be a reason for the suspicion. So when the act was committed here, for instance, he is not in Tanzania, he is in their Kenya. Can you make a suspicion that he was arrested? Answer, no, because at the time of the act, he was not present in Tanzania. Then where is the question of suspicion will come? Means intentionally you created her, his name to to make a, to make a, what I say make a stigma on his character to make an allegation on his character to tarnish to tarnish his reputation tarnish T A R N I S H tarnish his reputation. But and hapa. See, she is busy in sending the SMS. Come here. Angalia Hapa, Sio Dinisha. So, the defendant was a local nature, he was not there. The plaintiff was allowed and the defendant was held liable. Yes, he was held liable because local nature law will sell in, but other country law will be good. Then that country law could be used as a statute and the decision will be given. So that is another thing where we can make it out. In case where an unlawful act is a civil wrong in one country and a criminal offense in another country, the position of law was not clear. In the case of Machado versus Fontes, I told you, not you, because in defamation you are, did you hear the defamation chapter? Did you hear the defamation chapter? Say yes or no. I taught defamation here. I am sure it is for the second semester. Second year is it? Did you hear? But why you are not giving the answer? Sir, we don't know what you did, what you asked the question. Defamation. 
that I taught here to you. Is it somehow? I say, what somehow? <laughs> I told you, if you say a unmarried girl, you are a mimba, it is amount to a defamation in India. If you say a unmarried girl or a woman, you are a mimba, you are a pregnant, it is a defamation and it is a criminal wrong in India. What about in Tanzania? Kuzaliya Moja, Imbili, Chatu, Amna defamation. So, defamation from country to country it varies. A, a country is a civil wrong, in another country it is a criminal wrong. But Hapa, neither the civil wrong nor the criminal wrong. But in India, it is a criminal wrong. So, the same thing is saying here. A unlawful act is a civil wrong in one country and a criminal offense in another country. The position of law was not clear. In the case of Machado versus Fontes, it is a 1892 case law, but the year should be in the square bracket, but the QBD, Queen's Bench Division is in volumes, and hence it should be a square bracket. And 231 page, it was held that a civil claim can be made even if the country where the act is committed regard it as a criminal offense. In other country, it is a criminal offense. At that instance, at least the case is filed in this country considered at least as a civil offense. Do not, do not, do not, do not criminal offense. Uh, uh, uh. That country where it is a criminal offense, if it is case is filed in this country, at least consider it as a civil offense. Do not criminal offense. Is it clear? Sir, we don't know. You said, huh? Uh, uh. I said words are uttered. It is a criminal offense in this country. If the case is filed in this country, though it not it be considered as a criminal offense, at least considered as a civil offense. Uh, pata. Kesho, Pata. Sasa naingiyat, Sasa naingiyat, Sasa saibi only. Na chukwa kama kama, pole pole, pole pole, chukwa muda kumina imbili, kesho mimi na juya. <laughs> when I cracked the joke in your class, I did not see the chaka chaka faces because they did not understand. <laughs> After 12 hours, they understood. <laughs> they are laughing at the time. So, Machado versus. Okay, another case law I will, I will teach, then I will, I, I will also stop my teaching today. Instead of waiting for the another, we will still video have some time. Yes, but this decision was overruled in the case of Boyce versus Chaplin. The boy was Chaplin, they overruled the decision. Let us see the, what is the boy versus Chaplin says. It is a 1969, it should be a square bracket because all in that report is a volumes. And uh, he, they don't know the rules and regulations. They made it. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. 1085 page number. Now the current position of law is that act must be actionable in the both the countries. How? The country where the tart was committed or the country where the suit is filed. In this case, the plaintiff and the defendant got into an accident because of the negligent driving of the defendant. Both of them were British citizens. And where they are getting accident occurred in Malta. Both are the citizens of which country? British, England. Yes, let me finish it, then I will ask your question. Both were the English men. And when they are traveling over there in the Malta, because of the negligence of the defendant, the accident occurred. As per the rule in Malta, 
the damages for the pain, suffering, agony were not awarded and only monetary compensation for the loss suffered was given to the plaintiff. But under the British law, the factors were also relevant in the award of damages. What factors? Agony, suffering, pain, which are said to be the special damages because those cannot be measured in terms of the money. Can you measure in terms of the money pain? Apana. Can you measure in the pain, mind suffering? Apana. Can you measure in terms of money agony? Apana. So they are special damages and compensation for the loss suffered was given to the plaintiff under the British law. These factors were also relevant in the award of damages in England, but in not in Malta. Malta is the only compensatory damages. It was held that the British law will apply in case and the damages could be accessed as per the British law. Let me explain, then I will come to your point. The persons, those two are from British citizen. And they went to the Malta. Because of the negligence of the defendant, the plaintiff was injured. The accident happened. Hands on the table. Hands on the table. <laughs> Again, he is sending the SMS. <laughs> I told you, please don't do like that. You off it, you mute it and keep it. Because this is the Darasa. Siyo bar, Pombe. Nayanda, Nakuja, Nayanda, Nakuja, Kuchimada, Nayanda, because Kula Kuna, Pombe, Kuchimada, Nayanda, Nakuja, Nayanda, Nakuja. So, both are British citizens. They went to Malta and there an accident happened because of the negligence of the defendant. Plaintiff was injured. In the Malta law, only compensatory damages are paid, but they don't consider the damages of suffering, pain and agony. But in British system, yes, pain, agony or agony or suffering will be measured as a special damages. And uh, hence, the plaintiff requested the law of the England should be used over there. Why? Both are from England. Both are from England. So England law says not only the compensatory damages plus special damages for the agony, mental pain and suffering should be made because defendant also from the country of English, Irish, English country, British country and accident happened in Malta. So Malta law cannot be used over there. A special substantial law of the England should be used so that compensation is more. The court accepted it. Malta court accepted it because as per the Malta, Kidogo only compensation. But applying the law of the England, Makubwa compensation. And both are, and both are Englishmen. At that instance, if he is a Maltese man, he is there, then say, why you should have to follow your law? Because our subject, our citizen is suffered. Of course, he has got injured over there. Naturally, that country law would be applied. But the injury is there to that countryman. Hence, that country law should be applied. Even though the injury is in Malta. So, higher compensation will be given to the plaintiff if that country law where the case is filed is getting the low amount. Is it clear? Even the substantial law can also be replaced by the other country law when there is a justice to the party and there is no contravention to their public policy or the existing statute or the legislation in that country, including the constitution. Now in this case law, they said, pay special damages also. Because two members are from the British only. But the only thing is, accident happened in Malta. The same scenario, I will twist it. 
Suppose the injury caused to the Englishman by the Maltanian citizen and the Englishman he will file in his own country because Malta is not the forum convenience to him because he came to Malta as a visitor. He came to Malta as a visitor. Suppose if he file a case in Malta, Malta government says we give only compensatory damages, we don't give the special damages. They don't go against their rule. They don't go against their statute. Hence what we will do now, the Englishman will not file it in the Malta. The Englishman will file in his own country. Because in his own country, not only compensatory damages he will get, and he will get the special damages also for mental agony, suffering and pain. And he filed a case in England. And the decision is given over there to the Maltese. Suppose the Malta man is having any business here, from there it will be compensation will be paid to him. But he doesn't have the business, then Malta, the English government will write to the Malta in the government stating that your country citizen made such a thing. And hence, we have to give the compensation to us. And the Maltesian government will definitely agree because the law of obligation. They definitely agree and they follow the judgment of the England in the Malta and not only the compensatory damages will be paid, but also special damages will be paid. Because it is a natural justice. It is a natural. But in certain conditions, Maltesian government denied. No. We give only compensatory damages. But we don't give the general da special damages to you. Damages for suffering and agony and pain, we don't give. Because our law will not recognize it. They can also say. There are two possibilities are there. But some damages should be paid to him. Is the natural justice. Either he is a local citizen or he is a foreigner. Doesn't matter. If he caused any injury to any person in accident, yes, I may be held liable. Or if a Tanzanian caused any injury to me and the Tanzanian government should have to protect me and they have to pay the compensation. Even though I am not a citizen of this country, but I am only the residence of this country. But the government should have to protect me. Otherwise, I will knock the door of a or embassy and the will, embassy will ask this embassy. Definitely. So that would be the condition. One should have to make it out. Regarding the foreigners are concerned. So Bias versus Chaplin, they say not only that country law, the other country law could be also be used over there because two subjects from that country only. Okay. Now you are becoming impatient, I believe. Because I am seriously taking the class because I am not getting up. Look into what your activities are doing because of the I recorded it. And hence, you are taking the advantage of my recording and using it the way that you want. Please take the best chance. Here, a man who comes from India, having a lot of experience, and he's going to teach the some, something, you learn something. Otherwise, I'm not the loser. You are the losers. Yes, your question, come and ask. Say it loudly, so that it will be recorded. Yes, thank you, Professor. Yeah. A question. Yes. The example we have given about the uh, maybe the, the the defamation which has been permitted in India, but in Tanzania it's not a offense. Say that in India, uh, say that a person is pregnant, it is a offense and it is a uh, defamation and is the offense which is a criminal offense by the way. But in Tanzania, it is just a normal issue. It's not your, it's not an offense. And it's also not a uh, thought. So from there now, I come to the question on the enforcement and recognition of such a judgment when it comes, uh, when, when, when maybe that judgment has been transformed, to come into such that it can be recognized and it be transformed, be enforced. How, how the court in Tanzania will be enforced? Because the limit in these two kind of cases will be first. What will be done in that, in that circumstance? I told earlier also, there is a lot of business 
from India to Tanzania, Tanzania to India. Even though the India is not a member in the 11 recognition of the foreign act, they are not the member, but still law of obligation are there because there are many transactions between India and Tanzania. The close tie will be disturbed. The close tie will be disturbed for the sake of one person. So, Tanzania government will write to the embassy which is there in Tanzania, in India. Yes, please get the details of it. They will send the total details, including that decision. Moreover, moreover, the person approached to the Tanzania embassy in India, or court will write to the Tanzania embassy in India, they will say that the, the Tanzania embassy will send to the here foreign external affairs minister. External affairs minister will ask it. If it is not followed over there, at that instant, Indian embassy in Tanzania will pursue the matter, will pursue the matter, and it will go to the high court first. The high court, it will be registered. It will be registered. The high court will see whether this decision is against the, any fraud is made, or whether decision is the natural justice is followed with this decision, whether what is rule followed over there is followed properly or not, or the decision which is given here, but generally it is applied over here or not. Suppose if it is not applied, then how could we make it out? But the court, but the government says it will be a defamation, both a civil wrong and criminal wrong. At least consider here as a civil wrong. At least, though not criminal wrong. At least consider here is a civil wrong because it is a Tanzanian subject committed an offense there in time in India. So, if the country policy is there, foreign policy is there, for the sake of your individual, our country diplomatic relations should not be disturbed. Even though it is not a criminal offense, consider it is a civil offense and give such compensation to that man, though not putting behind the bar to him. And India says, whether you keep the behind the bar to him or not, doesn't make any difference. Let my Hela will come to me. Let me transact my compensation should be paid to me. The compensation paid again through the embassy to the court, court to the another court, court to the that court, because this transaction will be done only by the high courts. In the India, there are many high courts are there. At least 27, 29 states are there. I believe 25 high courts are there in India, but only one Supreme Court. But now they are saying the bench should be there, at least three benches should be there because people far away from there cannot travel to the New Delhi, those who are in Madras, Calcutta, it is a far away distance to them. And hence, one bench should be there in the south, one bench should be there in the north, and hence it will be there. So definitely they will consider, do not consider the criminal offence, they will consider it is a civil offence because our study is civil offences not criminal offenses. Any doubt? Private international is a very interesting subject and you people doesn't care it. You know, when I, I, I told you also, when I came and joined in the 2004 in the UDSM, private international law is only limited to the prospectus. No one teaching the private international law. Before 2004, no teacher is teaching the private international law in the UDSM. When I joined over there, now present Chief Justice Ibrahim Hamisi Juma was the dean. And he told me, Hussein, you start a such a course where the people should remember you. Then I saw, ah, oh, sir, private international law. Yes, because I taught the case three years in the University of Asmara, Eritrea. Sir, I will deal this case. Please deal. So I prepared the course outline the first time. My course outline is entire Tanzania used it. Only removed my name, Ju Nachini. When I went to the Ruku, I saw, ah, this is my course outline. Then the person who died...
Thank you. 